Hi guys, welcome back to my series Make Me Up on Beauty Base. I'm Holly Wakem and today I'm going to show you this Daisy Low inspired makeup look. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in with a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is going to make the face appear illuminated and really flawless. So I'm just going to apply this first on the back of my hand and then onto my model's skin. If you was doing this on yourself at home, you could take it straight from the little applicator. And I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply this. This is going to make sure that the concealer is absolutely flawless on the skin. So I'm just going to bounce that starting under the eye area and then we can blend out. I'm going to do the concealer first because Daisy's makeup was really, really flawless and it was quite fair as well. So to do the concealer first means you can make it really, really flawless and then blend everything outwards. Okay, now I've added the concealer. I've literally blended that out to the sides of the face and I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Stay Matte Powder and this has got more of a yellowy undertone so it's going to counteract some of that pink in the skin. So I'm then going to use a big fluffy brush to just powder all over because Daisy's makeup was quite matte looking. So we'll start in the middle and I'm just pushing the powder into the skin rather than blending it all around because you don't want to disrupt any of that concealer. So if you start on the middle part of the face first and then we're just going to literally powder on the outside parts of the face as well. So I'm just sweeping that over the eyelids and that's going to just start priming the eyes ready for the eyeshadow to go on as well. So Daisy loves a chiselled cheek with a really nice warm matte bronzer. For this I'm going to use the Smashbox, it's one of my favourites and this is in Suntan Matte. So to contour or to um, bronze the face, I love using a bronzer without any shimmer because it looks a little more natural. But for this look, we are going to go slightly heavier under that cheekbone. So just taking your big fluffy brush, we're just going to sweep that bronzer from the top of the ear down. You don't want to bring it all the way to the mouth, but you want to sort of follow that line. And we're just going to start to blend that up slightly as well. Now normally I'd go along the temples and on the jawline, but Daisy doesn't really do this in this makeup look. She only focuses on the cheek here. And it's quite, quite dramatic. And the trick probably to this not looking so fake and so dramatic is to make sure you keep blending as you go so it doesn't look like just a harsh line. So to warm up the cheeks, I'm also gonna be using a matte blusher in this peachy color called Lover. Just open it so you can see. And this one's by Illamasqua. This is a gorgeous colour as we're coming into spring as well. It's really pretty. So just with the same brush, I'm just going to use this just to slightly warm the cheeks and the skin up. So what I like to do after I've added a little bit of blush is to use the same brush blush that I used before and just sweep any loose powder back over. This is just going to help to blend the colour in. And it's great as well if you add a little bit too much colour, you can just soften it with the face powder. So we're going to move on to the brows and I'm going to define the brows using a little spoolie and some brow powder. This one's by HD Brows and it's in the colour Vamp which is the darkest palette. I love these powders because they stay on all day and you get two different types of shades of colour so that you can really blend and customise it to your brow colour. So all we're going to do is just lightly fill the brows in, not too harsh. So we've already got quite a nice shape there, but we're just going to define them slightly and give them a little bit more depth. So I'm just using the brush to almost mimic like a feather line stroke to lightly fill them in. And then you can just use your little spoolie brush to comb through the hairs just to soften that powder and make them look really, really natural. So Daisy has a really cute eyeliner in this look. And for this, I'm going to use the Chanel. This is, I can't say it because it's like, it's like French, but it's kind of in the shape of a pen and you twist the bottom and the product goes through. And if you struggle with using eyeliner, this pen is so easy to use. So all we're going to do, if you just look down for me, we're just going to start in the middle part of the eye and just using light feathery strokes, just flick that brush towards the end. A lot of people will find this easier than gel liner. 
and then all we're going to do is just bring that line softly onto the inside part of the eye. And then slightly flick that little eyeliner flick out at the end. Nothing too dramatic, just a little flick. And I'm going to use a few coats of the mascara. This is by 17 and it's Black Lash. So it's nice and volumising. If you look down here, babe. So you really want to wiggle the mascara wand into the roots of the lashes to add lots of depth and volume. So Daisy has quite a distinctive um, bottom eyeliner as well. So for this, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. I really like using this, especially on the waterline or around the eye area, because if your eyes do get watery, this is water resistant, so it's going to stay on. So if you look all the way up for me, babe. So I'm going to pop this just on the waterline and slightly in the lash line as well, because I'm then going to just blend it. Just slightly with this little spongy spoolie. Head down for me, babe, and then look up. So we're just going to slightly blend that in. Just so it's not so harsh. And then I'm just going to join the bottom liner up with that top flick. So over the top of that eyeliner, we're going to pop some matte black eyeshadow. Just on a little angle brush. And just get the excess off on the back of your hand. And this is just going to make the under eye liner look really inky and distinct. And it's also going to make it stay on. So if you look up again from Vabes, we're just going to push this into that eyeliner. And this will stop that from moving about or melting off the skin throughout the day or night. Then using the same mascara, we're going to apply this to the lower lashes as well. So if you look up, you Cool, your bottom eyelashes are really long. Daisy's lipstick is really dark and matte in this look, so I'm going to use this perfect colour I found. It's by Sleek and it's a matte and it's called Dow. So I'm going to apply this also with a really, it's quite a chiselled hard angle brush from Illamasqua because this brush is perfect for getting a really good line on the lip. So we'll take it straight from the bullet of the lipstick and then we're going to apply this on the lips. And we just used the Body Shop Lip Scrub just to take away any dead skin that we've got. But you can use any lip exfoliator or any little bits of sugar. If you've got sugar in the house, you can use that just to exfoliate the lips. Daisy's got quite full lips, so we're going to go slightly over the lip line as well to give the illusion of a fuller lip. Okay guys, so that's the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for next week when I'm going to be sharing with you my secret beauty weapon. And no, it's not rude. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye!